The base at Fort Indian Town Gap is mainly used for military training, but this week the base is being used as a summer camp. And the kids at the camp are not with the military, but they are learning some combat skills. And today our Mike Parker enlisted in their boot camp. It doesn't take long to see that the kids of the American Cadet Alliance mean business. For two weeks, the youth group has come to Fort Indian Town Gap to drill. Where they learn the basics of military life in a pretty regimented type of environment. The Alliance is for kids 12 to 17, but for today, well, they made an exception. So I signed the line and got geared up. As a new recruit, I'd have to perform at the same standard as the rest. In the mess hall, I got my first taste of reality. Sit in my chair, recruit. Sit in my chair. Sit in my chair. Sit. 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 What don't you understand about sit? In formation with my platoon, well, let's just say I had to learn some new lingo. Sir, recruit reporter. Permission is falling, sir. Count off. I don't know what that means, sir. It means louder. Once I got the hang of it, things were looking pretty good. Except for my freakish height, I actually started to feel like I fit in. While this is a militarily structured program, this isn't the Army, this isn't the Navy. This is a very regimented program for good kids that is challenging, but it's also something that's supposed to be an opportunity for them to, to have some fun and hopefully make some lifelong friends. Get that leg up there. Get that leg up. Grab a leg. I would need my friends on the obstacle course. If at first you don't succeed, at least they'd be there to lift my spirits. The biggest lesson I learned as a recruit is that you don't become a cadet without believing in yourself. Believe me, if you can get over this wall, you can get through just about anything. But really, our goal is not to create soldiers and sailors and Marines and, and such. Our goal is to create better, better members of our society. At Fort Indian Town Gap, Mike Parker, WHP, CBS 21. All right, you know, looks like fun. Yeah, you notice know, all the kids had their heads buzzed. And Mike uh -huh. was probably lucky he didn't get yeah. his head shaved out there. He didn't have to go through that. But, you know, yeah. he's going to be hurting tomorrow after that, I think. Yeah. Maybe we'll follow up. Yeah, we should. <laughs> See we how, should. He, how he's all doing. Right.